Hello. Welcome to the next section, Preparing Raster Data for Processing. We will begin by resampling the rasters. Then we will be creating a raster mosaic and generating raster overviews. Moving ahead, we will be converting between raster and vector data models, and finally, we will create raster surfaces via interpolation. Now we move on to the first video of this section, Resampling Rasters. In this video, we are going to rescale the resolution of the elevation.tiff sample data. When an analysis requires that multiple raster datasets be combined or overlaid, their pixel resolutions should be equal. The spatial resolution or cell size of a raster can be increased or decreased by a process known as resampling. Although you can increase or decrease the resolution of a raster, it is considered a better practice to decrease the resolution of the finer datasets to match the resolution of the coarsest raster. In QGIS, there are several tools that can be used to resample a raster. Here, we will use the GDAL Translate tool. The elevation layer has been used. While the Translate tool can be found by navigating to Raster, Conversion, Translate, you will use the Processing Toolbox implementation of it here because it has better options for specifying the output pixel size. This tool can be used for a variety of raster conversions during the resampling process. Open the Processing Toolbox. Switch to the Advanced view. Locate the tool by navigating to GDAL slash OGR, Conversion and Translate. Select the input layer. Here it is already loaded as Elevation. For a specific output resolution, enter the number in the Set the Size of the Output File box. To change the resolution by a percentage, click on the output size is a percentage of input size box. If there are cells to designate as no data cells, enter the value in the no data value, leave blank to take the no data value from input field. If there is a one band raster with a color table, use the expand drop down menu to choose a setting for converting it to a three band image. To change the CRS of the raster during the resampling operation, specify the new output CRS by clicking on the Browse button for the Output Projection for Output File option box. To subset or clip the raster during the resampling operation, enter the coordinates for the desired spatial envelope in the Subset Based on Georeferenced Coordinates option box. Additional creation parameters can be specified. For a full list of options for the GDAL underscore translate utility, visit the help page gdal.org. Select the output raster by clicking on the Browse button. You can choose to either save to a temporary file, save to file, or use expression. Here we save to file and name it as translate and run it. This shows the result of raster resampling. The resampled raster has 100 meter pixel resolution. Next, we install and troubleshoot Saga on different platforms. Saga is a standalone application whose tools can be accessed from within the QGIS processing toolbox. To do this, you need to have both QGIS and Saga installed. The processing framework must also be configured properly so that QGIS can access the Saga command line executable. If you are running Windows and you installed QGIS with either the OSGEO4W or the standalone installer, Saga will be included. More importantly, the path to the Saga executable is automatically configured. There is nothing you need to do, just use the Saga tools. In this video, we have rescaled the rasters, 